Hi guys, it's Adrian. <laughs> oh my gosh, who am I? Oh my gosh, it's Adrian. No, honestly, I've done pretty extensive research at this point. I've watched my fair share of DID videos. Guys, we know that about now. And I've got to say with absolute certainty, that is 100% real. They did like... Nothing gets past me at this point, guys, honestly. <laughs> like, there's no way you could sit there with a straight face and try and convince me otherwise. That just, that's how it works. Me, when I find out, I don't fall in love with people easy. I just hyperfixate on them because I'm bored and it's a system of ADHD. <laughs> That's incredibly sad. I will tell you one thing though, they did get the clown makeup right. What's up boys and girls? Welcome back to Clown World. I wanna ask you guys for a massive favor. Clearly up to you if you wanna do this or not, but I wanna let everyone know I have a members on my channel where you get videos early, you get a shout out at the end, you get cool stickers, man. Also, it just helps support the channel and helps me create videos like this in which we can basically just spread awareness of dumb stuff online and would honestly mean a lot to me. Again, completely up to you guys, but there is a link down in the description if you guys would like to do that. You get some very cool perks. With that all being said, grab your snorkels and let's jump and plummet down into Clown World. We're adventuring very deep today. You should try integration therapy. We don't want that. We want to be able to unmask and not all be called Casey. They have it rough, don't they guys? While I am deep down into Clown World, one of the things I always find quite interesting is how against therapy or even talking to someone these people really seem to be. Unless you agree with their terms and conditions and want to play along with their delusions of experiencing these health concerns, which by the way, they probably learn from other TikTokers or from discords. That's also another weird, there's a, there's a lot of weird things when you really start to look into this all. And honestly, that has to be one of the biggest red flags for me is the fact that none of these people want therapy. I know they always fall on the argument of it being super expensive and whether that being the case or not, you can't really go around and start making TikToks in which bragging about your new disability or disorder, which if you've self-diagnosed yourself with, isn't really that valid. <laughs> Things you probably didn't know were considered self-harm. Pressing down on your eyelids. On purpose. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that's pretty... You might want to back it up a few steps there, Jason. That's pretty intense, brother. Holy shit. These kids coming out with new crazy ways to self-harm. I don't know if I'm about this one, guys. I'm a little bit scared. I can't lie. I'm, I'm just saying, if I'm walking around in public and I see someone pull one of these... <laughs> holy heck. You best believe I'm, I'm phoning the police. <laughs> so I'm paraplegic. I can't move my lower body. Oh my God, me too. I'm just so good at masking. It's barely even noticeable anymore. <laughs> what the fucker? Is he, is he walking on his legs, guys? He's got pretty good at this. I like how this is actually an argument for uh, most people nowadays as well, when they present with just no symptoms. You know, the symptoms that they've already made up as well on TikTok, uh, everything gets so fucking warped to what it actually is at this point that they make their own symptoms. But despite all of that, they can't keep up with their new symptoms that they've made. So when you call them out on it, they just default to the argument. I'm just really good at masking. You would never have even known. <laughs> I'm so good at masking, in fact, that, I've, that I'm able to walk. Is my guy wearing Crocs? What is it? What, what the? What are those? Moving on, this person, guys, this DID person wants to ask everyone here a question. They have a little issue going on, and they need you guys to help fix it. Let me read. I don't know how to go about revealing the new, huge, new and improved headspace. New and improved? Are you? Oh my! We are finally upgrading. Let's go. If like me, you are also a bit confused on what that really means, they keep all their alters and all their personalities in their head, obviously, Duh. in which they create a headspace. Uh, this person has renovated their headspace and has made it bigger. They live in, they live in large. I hope they're paying taxes on this. So in short terms, I'm a gatekeeper architect. <laughs> 
and a few other roles in a DID system. We are very much polyfragmated with over 170 headmates. What are you bragging? That was a weird flex if you ask me, guys. 170. I bet you guys only have like 30, loser. Like I was turned into this, who has the most personality? I do with 170 plus. Sorry, I didn't even see that. The plus, there may be more. Just bullshit. You couldn't keep track of 170 different... Even if I had actual physical friends that were in the real world, I don't think I could keep track on more than, say, probably like 40 or 50. And that's really pushing it to the far end, let alone made up things of 170. Oh my God. I am smelling the BS already. Headmates. And at this point, getting around one to five new ones a week. Oh my God. Business is booming recently. So I have decided to take on the project of creating a huge new headspace that's better in every way instead of a cramped room. Are we following along guys? Not really sure. Huge hallway with rooms, boxes, void areas over all really messy. I think I've just about finished it all, but I really don't know how to go about revealing it to everyone. Don't <laughs> leave that in your leave that in your head. Also, how do you manifest this? Are you like Doctor Strange? Like trying to trying to really think through this? I'm trying to create a headspace. Don't touch me. And if someone intervenes or interrupts you when you're creating this headspace, is it as bad as when you update a driver on one of your things on your PC? Or like will the whole thing just collapse and you're just brain dead? Like what happens? It's just been such a big project for me that I've been working on for what I think would be a few months months now. Tell me you're unemployed without telling me you're unemployed. Am I right, guys? And it just feels like a special thing now. I don't know if this makes sense, but it just feels like something holding me back from revealing it. You might want to listen to that, that one voice in your head not wanting to reveal it. You really should keep it in there. A feeling similar to guilt or worry, but a restricting sort of kind. I am sorry if any of this does not make sense. Again, it doesn't. Then if I do decide to reveal it, which I will have to, you'll have to guys, there's no being around the bush. They're gonna have to at some point. I don't really know how to. Like, do I just take little groups at a time or do i just take everyone or something else right about this time guys i would like to think you are down below right now writing your comments to help this fellow did faker if you are please let me know what your thoughts and opinions are uh, should they introduce them all at once i don't know about that that seems a little bit too risky once if once if loads of them don't like it remember there's 170 plus with a few with like five or so being added each week or should she introduce them into little groups man this really is like a first world problem, huh? The struggle with everyone is that we have so many headmates too. A lot of the time, there's at least three sleeping. Three some headmates just cannot be anywhere near each other. Oh no, that doesn't sound good. Four, TWD word. Some alters have dormants for a variety of different reasons. And etc. Guys, we love the word etc. Please, can I get a etc in the in the comments? Guys, that's the worst symptom. I'm just really looking for some advice. Please and thank you. Well, at least they asked nice guys. Please help me. How do I go about this? How do I go about this, guys? Wow. If you listen to that whole story, I have literally just wasted eight minutes of your life. That was the dumbest thing I think I've ever read. <laughs> so stupid. Hello, my neurodivergent friends. Let's confuse the normies, shall we? Unmask and disassociate with me. In three, two, one. Oh, nice, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, guys, me being a full-blown normie myself, I am just utterly confused at this point. What is going on? I like how this is an insult now as well. Somehow, somehow this is an insult, being a normie. For anyone who doesn't know this term, don't worry. I don't blame you. You're not missing out on much. Basically, if you don't have any issues, if you're fine, if you don't identify as having anything wrong with you, you are a normie. Also, switching like that is just really not how that works. It's always such a weird one to me, seeing like the arguments be made that just fake claiming is absolutely disgusting. And how could someone do that? I don't even have a doctor's degree or anything like that. But guys, I have one little, one little trick underneath uh, my sleeve. It's called common sense. That's right. I just drawed common sense out of my pack of cards. Pretty powerful stuff. I'm kind of going off the basis that if you really do have DID, 
the absolute trauma needed. Even though, again, we, we've seen videos now, like previously talking about how you don't even need trauma. Like they literally are just bending and warping reality at this point to really fit their needs. But like, my guy, if you're setting up the camera before making this TikTok and then just zoning out into the distance, like that and that is apparently proof of your diagnosis wow that's pretty wild guys autism and the body part three part, part three like there needs to be more than one part to this but okay yes autism and the body let's see could have scoliosis okay <laughs> tiktoker be like my back slightly hurts i have scoliosis I find it quite fitting that she is actually wearing clown makeup. It really describes this person very well. They're not even really trying at this point either with the diagnosis. Like, they're just saying anything that really comes to mind at this point. You know, before when this whole trend kind of started, at least it was structured a little bit more proper than this. You know what I mean? Uh, some of them were like, okay, well, I may have autism because I feel kind of like this and this, and th this is the reason. Now they just say random words. Scoliosis. <gasps> oh no, babe. Queen. Oh God, no. D PM me, hun. <laughs> Can't believe Bethany has scoliosis. I mean, wh where's her proof? Well, she said it on a TikTok. You, you can't lie on TikTok. There's been some dialogue in the community on whether or not you can be born a system. You can. Birth trauma is real. Okay. We've been, we were born extremely physically disabled and kept in a little ventilator when we were born. You can have trauma at birth. And also like, there's no scientific evidence that you absolutely have to have trauma in order to be a system. And there's a lot of historical evidence from across the world that there are many different types of systems. So there is no definitive thing saying you must have trauma to be a system. So we're just putting that out there. There are theories. There is no definitive proof either way. Kind of one of those things where scientists probably felt the need that they didn't really need to give evidence. It's kind of what the whole illness is basically based around is trauma. <laughs> Like, my guy, what are you saying? Also, in the first bit, like, I do know that's slightly true. Apparently, if you're born, you, you can have trauma as a baby and stuff. But I will say also, I bet you half of these kids, the second they found out they had trauma is when they magically started having systems. You know, like an almost placebo effect. If they never knew that they had trauma as a kid, I, I'm, I can almost guarantee that they probably wouldn't have trauma now. Like, for me, as an example, when I was born... I stopped breathing and you know what, if it wasn't for my dad, I, I would 100% be dead. He, he insisted on seeing me. He saw me, I was basically like fucking pale ass white in the face. I guess kind of like how I am now because I haven't seen the sun in about two months. God, I, I missed that thing. But yeah, I, I, I literally stopped breathing for like quite a long time and I suppose they would class that as trauma at birth. Despite that, I've been pretty okay. <laughs> Cause I don't really necessarily buy into this whole because I had tra trauma as a kid BS. That is where all my issues lie. Like again, a lot of people like to point fingers and have excuses on why maybe they're not doing so well in life. Like, oh, actually it's because um I had trauma when I was like two months old. Bro, no, just, just admit it. You're lazy. I don't know. All these excuses coming out and him saying this and then just saying like, you don't even need trauma to have a system. That is just ridiculous. The reason why these people have these alters is literally because of severe trauma as a kid. It's their way of coping. If you're just going on to TikTok, dressing up as a cosplay and then saying, not a cosplay, that, that's not the same at all. Okay, th this was funny, but I probably won't be able to put the song in on the video. Oh, it's, it's just going to get copyright claimed. But basically, like, at the start there, she's like, oh, guys, if you said the word retarded, I'm sorry, but it's just, it's just going to end our relationship. I can't have someone as a friend if they're going to be throwing around the R word. And, and then... then <laughs> And then in the next clip, she's listening to Black Eyed Peas. Let's get retarded in here. Let's get retarded in here. So what is it? Are you not allowed to say that word? Or now all of a sudden, you're allowed to dance to it and make TikTok? These people are like the biggest hypocrites. They just wake up one day and they just say, well, actually, if you use that, like, that's pretty offensive. And I will be very offended. And then, like in a past video, they've done exactly that. 
And yes, guys, I'm allowed to say the word retarded because I'm dyslexic. And it falls under the use, apparently. I don't give a fuck. I, don't, I really couldn't care less. It, it's literally a word. <laughs> I'm really offended right now, actually. It's kind of a loophole. <laughs> My seizures do not show up on an EEG. That's got a lot to do with them coming from FND and specifically how my brain processes seizure-like activity. Some people with non-epileptic seizures, their seizures will show up on EEGs, but mine don't. And this means that even if I got in a crash because I was having a seizure, there is no evidence that they could show in court that provides of me saying having seizures wouldn't be I'm still very safe with my driving. Uh, I've, mm, mm, guys, I was going to ask for your opinion on this because I don't really know how any of that works. It, it sounds a little sus. Also, you basically just come onto TikTok and confirmed you have seizures. So if now you were to get into a car crash and they were to see this TikTok, I, I feel like... No, guys, I'm not I'm no Sherlock Holmes, but I feel like that would be some pretty good <laughs> evidence <laughs> that you... Oh my God, these people are dumb like you're, you're literally saying it on the internet on a tiktok saying that you have seizures but if you got into a car crash accident from a seizure they would have no proof to determine that you have seizures but you you've just admitted that you have see guys i'm not i'm not crazy am i i don't know tiktok be wild guys uh, i don't know i want to see the rest of this video the chances of me getting in a car crash because i was having a seizure are near zero and this is because i can feel all of my seizures coming on at least 60 seconds in advance. And 60 seconds is on the short end. Most of them I can feel coming multiple minutes in advance. So I can pull over. And I- Yeah, I don't, uh, again, I don't know. I feel like if you're on the motorway, trying to pull over within 60 seconds, sometimes could be a little bit of a stretch. Also, I don't know. I, I just feel like that's probably BS. I'm no expert. I'm just a YouTuber that makes fun of people that says absolutely ridiculous stuff on TikTok. So this one I'm actually a little bit unsure about. I, I don't know how it works. I would assume that if you actually did have seizures, you probably wouldn't have a license. Uh, co common sense, but like when when does that come into play? I, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this, because uh, generally I'm I'm kind of uh, I'm divided on this. Listening to music, moving your body, singing, and so, so much more. I don't know. I feel like they kind of just give it away in these TikToks. You just said it can be dancing. Stimming is just dancing. I don't know why they have to call it all this weird technical terms of like, oh, guys, yeah, I wasn't. Oh, did you see me at the club last night, guys? I was stimming away, bro. It was sick. It's just, it's dancing. I don't understand, guys. I'm so confused. Why is 2023 already turning out to be a very confusing year? I do like that a lot of these TikTokers, though, will just say, yeah, guys, look at my stim dancing. Well, you basically just confirmed that you're just dancing. You've added a weird word in front of it to somehow give you right that you now have autism. <laughs> Pretty sure stimming is like where you move your whole body like uncontrollably because of like sensory overload. Dancing isn't really that. The fact that you've literally put your camera down and you're creating a TikTok leads me to believe that this isn't an uncontrollable motion and you're quite literally sat there. I, mean, I wouldn't really, I, mean, I guess this is dancing. I don't know what the f this is, to be honest with you. I'm kind of confused. I'm just, I'm just, I'm gonna say it. It's always the people with the color hair. And I know, I thought we could leave that behind in 2022, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just, it's kind of funny. Every time I say that, I know as well, I always get people in the comments going, oh, please, I have green hair. I'm not like this, I swear. <laughs> I'm sorry. You, you've been grouped in with them. I'm so sorry. Oh, these aren't homemade. They were made in a factory. A bomb factory. They're bombs. You cannot tell me the writers of SpongeBob weren't autistic. This is autism comedy type. <laughs> God fucking hell. This girl has single-handedly diagnosed the whole SpongeBob team. Only TikTok would have the balls to do such a thing. Can it can it not just be comedy? Does it have to be autistic comedy? The guy had a good pause in the life. Oh, so, oh, oh, man, I know my autistic comedy, and that that is it. These people, man, I swear God, just ruining everything. Ruining SpongeBob now. Great. And also, I know Christmas has just come and gone, but I'd like to believe that this person uploaded this on Christmas Day. You know, again, should be spending it with your family and stuff. Hell, I didn't even upload for 10 days. Sitting at your computer on Christmas. 
Christmas time is kind of a little bit sad. So I didn't do that. Uh, this person on the other hand though, POV, Christmas is over and Santa didn't get me an autism diagnosis. Oh man. Can we please get an F in the chat? That is unbelievably sad. Man, it's the only thing she wanted. Like what, what the fuck was supposed to happen? Dr. Santa was like supposed to kick down the door and just diagnose you on the spot. Like what, what did you want? And look how unbelievably sad she is guys. Oh man. Sorry babe, P PM me hon, PM me, it's okay. There's always next year. I suppose. Hopefully they've grown out of that by next year, but I doubt it. Where'd you go? <laughs> Fucking hell, guys. If Stick Drift was a human being, it would be this person. Oh my God, they're not even trying at this point. I swear to God, man, these people that just pretend to fake fainting are scum. Not even really trying to put any effort in. These are the most minimalist TikToks I've ever seen. She literally put her phone down and leaned to the right and is like, now guys, give me sympathy. Retarded. Hey, Stan, have you seen my- Oh my God, it's Gordon- now, honestly, guys, I was going to say, yeah, okay, yeah, liking ponies is autistic. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Then I saw the little My Little Pony, and you know what? I kind of agree with this. Okay, buddy, let's talk about DID. OSD. Just, I cannot control who I... Uh, <sighs> You literally don't have to make this video. I just want to let you guys know. Any TikTokers right now about, you, you literally don't have to make this video. I don't know why they get so stressed about making a video. You, you don't have to make it, it's okay. I cannot control who I form. I can't control who I form in my system. So, and at the time that he formed, Technoblade wasn't dead. We have a Technoblade altar, a, a Canon Technoblade altar. And yes, you can have Dream SMP altars. Can you? That's interesting. Guys, we're learning a lot from the expert himself. You can have. You can, guys. All right, so stop saying you can't. And if they do, well, fucking slap one of these ones on you. Not a cosplay. I'm not cosplaying his dream. I really am him. I just feel warm and fuzzy when I'm dream. You know that, guys. However, they aren't personalities. It's a trauma-based disorder, a childhood trauma-based disorder that I can't control. No one in the system can control. We can't control who forms. We can't control any of it. Is he on like the, are you on the run from the police? Why are you? I literally, I only had two minutes to make this video. I'm fucking, I'm on the run right now. I just, guys, I just, I don't fucking know what's going on. And uh, you can, by the way, you totally can. You can fucking, f you can transform into a dream, a dream SNP. I am <laughs> obviously, duh. Link in the description. And you trying to be like, oh, did you get a diagnosis on my, on our partner system, our platonic partner system video, videos, is like, you Duh. Come on, guys. I love how, like, they're making it sound like it's not a reasonable question. Oh, like, did you get a diagnosis? How f dare you? Well, I'm just, I'm just asking because you're saying that you can transform into dream. I'm assuming you probably didn't. It's fucking Larry on the fact that you, how dare you? Don't know what you're talking about. Leave us the f alone. Yeah, guys, you don't know what you're talking about. Leave them alone as then they make videos. Only I'm allowed to make videos on the subject. And if you guys reply to me or like give your opinion, just leave me alone. But I'm going to carry on making videos and calling you guys out and just saying ridiculous stuff like you don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, you can totally always dream. Or do some research. And kindly f off. Thank you. A lot of these people on TikTok would actually do quite well, I reckon, if they listened to their own advice. Wouldn't be a bad thing. Anyway, boys and girls, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Like I said at the beginning, I do have a members. If you guys would like to join, there is a link down in the description and it helps the channel out more than you know. Anyway, boys and girls, I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.